Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the 2016 Onog Circuit. We are about to jump into the winner's match of uh, Group B of the Feature Tournament number three, and uh, it's going to be between the Rat and Shoop, uh, two players with very similar deck lineups. Actually, we're not sure about Shoop's uh, Shaman. We both do have Warlock, different Warlocks. My name is TJ, once again, joined by that's admirable. What a series we just witnessed. A 3-0 that took over an hour with the craziest, one of the craziest control warrior mirrors uh, I've seen in a long time. Uh, we've been broadcast for a long time today, Admirable. How are you feeling, man? I, I, feel, I feel like I never asked you that. You ask me that a lot, TJ. T t don't be so hard on yourself, okay? You're a very caring, kind individual who always asks me how I'm doing. Usually I've just woken up a la Strife Crow. Um, mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I'm I'm doing fantastic. I just I decided to witness a tank up mirror. That's my favorite match of all time in any game ever. Not many people share that same enthusiasm, but uh, it was quite fun to watch. Uh, I came down to some interesting legendary battles, which is I think that's why uh, Blizzard decided to implement uh, at least Star Seeker. They're like, we need a way to make Control Warrior mirrors interesting. <laughs> See, I think it'd and be less like, interesting. If you just purely had to, like, if you had to win with like three fours and stuff, that'd be way yeah. more interesting to me. They co they call that what like backwards design or whatever, where they say, okay, we need what's the problem? Control warrior mirrors are boring. What's the solution? Give everybody fifteen legendaries. How do we give everybody legendaries? Put a card in the game that turns all your cards into legendaries. Boom, done, fixed. And yeah, that was one designer for Blizzard's job done. <laughs> you could have just gone straight to the last conclusion. I didn't need any of the other explanation. Mm -hmm. Just how do I get 15 legendaries in my deck? Make a card that gives you 15 legendaries. Okay, I'm okay with that. Sure. I usually build them with 15 legendaries. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the the thing now is that control warrior mirrors are actually quite exciting. So um, that's the uh, that's the end of that. But. Uh, we had a little bit of confusion there with the bands. The rat actually has his hunter banned away by Shoop, and Shoop is shaman is banned. So we won't be seeing uh, the Shoop shaman in this matchup once again. Um, see how these lineups are going to match up. The rat has a much faster lineup than Shoop, so we'll see if that's yeah. going to that's going to affect anything here. Well, I don't what? know. The rat had control warrior, didn't he? Um, kind of. It was like a mid range with control elements. Yeah, I mean, it definitely it definitely was a control warrior, but he's kind of you know he tends to be a player that gets going a little bit faster uh, yeah. than some others. Like yeah. the hunter ban here from Shoop, given that he's got uh, a hunter of his own, which is kind of like a, a very flip floppy matchup. Uh, but he's got the Reno lock, which is going to really suffer to the hunter and the control warrior builds, which are not d built right now to be able to tackle the hunter builds. You know, Savannah Jaime was already problematic enough when you throw Call of the Wild on top of that. Warrior's really going to struggle in that matchup. And I think Shoop had anticipated his Shaman getting banned, uh, given what we saw from from the Rat so far. I mean, Shaman is yeah. almost certainly one of his stronger builds, and trying to line that Hunter up against the other two builds. This is, honestly, I, I like the bans from both players. Um, and Shoop's, it, you know, it's really, really unorthodox to ban Hunter. But when you bring a lineup like this, you cannot afford to give away that game. Yeah. Very true. And... We'll see how the rest of these decks are going to line up. <clears throat> um, Shoop. How is this Reno lock in a fair? I mean, we saw how powerful it is against Control Warrior, but the Rats Control Warrior seems to be a little bit quicker than Chess Dudes was, which yeah. uh, can sometimes hurt and sometimes help you. Uh, the pressure can sometimes be good, but also the fact that you have less control elements can sometimes mean that you're not able to get to the point where you outrange the combo very effectively. Yeah, my, but the my rest of his decks are going to be good against it. My major concern there is that just I think that the burst Reno decks are kind of bad for the Warriors right now. Um, you know, in, in him adding the Kodo in there too, just to have more pressure on a couple mm -hmm. of your key cards. And uh, the Zoo build is kind of where I'm taking a look at where it lined up versus Shoop's deck because we didn't see it. I don't think we saw a Demon Wrath, and I think we didn't see Hellfire till the very end there, and we saw a Senjin, but. Uh, Reno lost a lot of early game tools to help fight against that zoo matchup. You have yeah. to get going quick or you're going to get steamrolled by a Darkshire Councilman. You don't really have a direct answer to that. Uh, and so that's kind of like the key card in that matchup. If the rat has a Councilman, Shoop's in a lot of trouble there. And for the Shaman build, uh, we did see a big game Hunter in there, which isn't the best answer to a Flame Wreath Faceless. But say Flame Wreath Faceless doesn't come down on turn four. Say it comes down turn six or seven. Those swings being available for Shoop can be a big deal. But again, same situation. They lost a lot of early game tools 
to keep the board under control. If he doesn't have great draws against that, the Reno's going to suffer versus those two decks. Um, so it, I think it's, you know, it's it's going to be pretty tough, I think, for Shoop to ever get an edge in terms of queuing decks here, because I imagine the Rat is going to be a player who queues up at random just to avoid any mind games going on there. So the order of decks chosen is likely to un- not matter unless both players are trying to choose it. And outside of that, Shoop may have a tough time with some of these controlling builds versus uh, the Shaman and the, and the Zoo in particular. Yeah, he need to hit those uh, those AoEs very early on. And sometimes even that's not even enough because you just don't have enough to stop the damage um, as the, the Reno lock going against the Zoo. Uh, the Rat is running a more aggressive version of Shaman, which um, can do well against all these decks, maybe with the exception of the Control Warrior. But I feel like sometimes you could just... Uh, beat him anyway with a good early curve. You know, that Shaman core just does well against a lot of these decks because uh, not many decks have answers to turn one Tunnel Trog, turn two Totem Golem, and, you know, four mana, seven, seven. So especially not the Hunter, which really struggles with uh, boards that go wide pretty early on in the game because they just don't have a solid and consistent early game. They have to use, I mean, how do you deal with the Totem Golem? Unless you get a huge Toad that where the Juggle hits the Totem Golem, that's it. Otherwise, you have to spend multiple resources. You have to trade in a 3-2 and quick shot, or trade in a 3-2 and a hit of an of a uh, eagle horn bow. So um, that's definitely going to be the um, one of the wild card decks as well. And I think Shoop here is really going to try and um, just beat up this control warrior. He's going to try and you know beat it in the the hunter or warlock matchup or. You know, just target in general. Make the rat have a hard time finding one with that control warrior. Because yeah. I think Shoot feels comfortable in the mirror. He feels comfortable going up against that deck with Hunter. And he definitely feels comfortable going up against that deck with Reno Lock. Yeah, that's sort of... You're, you're, you and I are in the exact same thought process here. I think Shoop was really trying to put um, some heat on the warrior builds being so popular right now. Yeah. Uh, and that's exactly what his lineup does. I mean, the Shaman and the Hunter. Now, honestly, I think Shaman fares pretty darn well versus Warrior most of the time. And Shoop early on here, he's going to have a tough time with this. This is a great hand from Brian the Rat Cortade, and this is even prior to Mulligans. Yeah. Always love to see that Tunnel Trog. That's the key to unlock the door to the face. <laughs> All the one threes are keys. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Man, Man of Worm, the- Tunnel Trog, Master Swordsmith. Well, the one mana ones, anyway. <laughs> Master yeah. Swordsmith is the key to Arena. Now, which key is it? It's usually the 0-3 key, but... Ah! <laughs> a key nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> Still get a pack. Sometimes you even get five dust. I can't tell you how many Arenas I've drafted and just been like, this is terrible. And I just retire it. And I'm like, I'm embarrassed. Sometimes I, I'll... Uh... I'll make an arena deck and make a hunter arena deck. And then I'll make it and I'll look at the hunter deck and I'll be like, I really don't want to play hunter in arena. <laughs> well, this is uh, not the hand Shoop is looking for. And it basically is the hand that Brian the Rat Cortade is looking for. Mm-hmm. This is terrible news for Shoop. I mean, yeah. This is going to have to get good and it's going to have to get good quick or we are going get to game two. Good. I mean, this is the dream. The only better dream would be if that Argus Choir was a tunnel, another tunnel truck. And even then, sometimes I would still take the Argus Choir just because it's resilient to AOE. So this is the dream opening. Can Shoot make it to turn eight or turn nine? That's going to be the question. At least he finds an Earthring Farce here to try and stop this. But this just lines up so well. Oh, Rockbiter weapon picked up. This is going to make sure that he curves into Flame Wreath Faceless regardless. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the exact situation I was painting. The turn four seven seven, a little bit too much. Turn six, if you've stabilized the board, totally fine. But this is, I mean, I hate to call him early, but wow, I don't know how Sheep's gonna win. Yeah, I mean, he can pick up a big game hunter. That could be a way. And Twilight Drake is a good card to fight back on the board. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's taken nine damage this turn, and he. If he doesn't draw a big game hunter, the 7-7 is unchecked. Yeah. And that's basically game over. Well, we'll see. 
The rat even has some, not reload, but what he does have is certainly Murgleton in order to try and find a better hero power. Mountain Giant picked up. That's not what you want to see. He might be resigned to just Defender of Argus and try and make some trades here. And that doesn't feel good. No, indeed, it's not. Is that just game? No, not quite. It's a little bit off here, but <laughs> how how does the rat lose? Yeah, no, you know, pick your point. Even if she draws Reno here, she probably he still has still, enough. He still has not killed the seven seven. And shoot, can is even free to run over this uh this defender of Argus with the tunnel truck. I'm sorry, with the totem golem. Yeah, I don't even know if you do that. I think you just go for it. Say, you better have Reno Jackson. Yeah, well, he better. And even if he does, it's still looking pretty grim for him. Quick game number one here. The rat curves out beautifully, and Shoop has no answer. He's going to tap himself to death, and the rat's just another day in the giant green office for him. <laughs> That's not a green screen behind him either. No, it's just his wall. Yep. A little bit scary, a little bit unnerving, but <laughs> unnerving. <laughs> I don't know if that's the... it's a little green. You know, maybe a sure paint it, paint it white, add some plants instead. You know, that's mm. kind of my my go to there, but yeah, paint it white, no plants. How about that? Yeah. Let me throw that one at you a little bit. Well, I'm I'm dodging it, and if I can yeah. dodge that, I can definitely dodge a ball. Um, but that's that's kind of what I feared here from Shoop is is how quickly this Reno deck is going to get kind of run over by two of these builds. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll see if he can kind of stabilize through this. 